Hello and welcome back to Roll Slow Gaming and our Let's Play series of v uh, Venomer National League South with Bath City Football Club taking them all the way to the top of Premier League hopefully one day. And um, you'll see everything uncut here in this Let's Play series. So far we have done two season, seasons or are actually in the middle soon of the second season here and we haven't done that good so far considering we are aiming at the championship or winning the title and uh, it haven't really gone our way so far and we have the FA Trophy third round qualification draw here and we managed to get a draw here against Phoenix Sports who are non a uh, non-league team so it should be a pretty easy win and uh, will not arrange extra time so if we do manage somehow to just get a draw we'll get a rematch at home to win them instead and we have an upcoming game here against Enfield Town on the away pitch so it should be a pretty hard game maybe considering they are a seventh in the league Anyway, while we move forward here, do remember to smash that like button if you like this Let's Play series or if you like what you see here. Um, also comment about just about anything you'd like, anything you think I'm doing wrong or could do better. Or anyway, you'd like to see this format in this format some, somehow in a different way or something like that if or if you want me to do more tactics and uh, such that we aren't doing that much at all at the moment since we are playing very financial way of game and if you haven't done so already make sure to do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roll Slow Gaming and with all of that said all right under 18s just lost in the FA Youth Cup second qualification or not second qualification round, just second round against Colchester, which is still very good for us. So I'm uh, very happy with that result. Unfortunately, they lost on penalties 8 to 7, so a very tight penalty shootout as well. And uh, yeah. Hopefully our uh, um, senior squad can uh, have a better game here coming up against Enfield Town. So we have a small issue here with Paul about not getting enough playing time, I guess. But we'll just talk in to him and he's happy that we just acknowledged it. So uh, no trouble there. And uh, he will certainly not get any more playing time because we have signed another defender in his in his place. So we have another scouting meeting here. So let's check here. The first player is not any interesting because he's too old. And so is this midfielder. So we got some here pre-match technical advice and we have no, nothing special here uh, from Jim Roller that we like to add or anything. And according to the bookmakers, we should have a pretty easy game here against Enfin Town. And here we get a, uh, a scout report on Adeloi, actually a forward here that are on a leading Venom National, uh, National South level. And uh, definitely better than our current player, Madelelus. And not requesting that much in wage either. So actually we'll try to sign him as well since they are all on so very short contracts. So we'll start with 700 and see if we can get away with anything close to 700. So we'll do 7050 and we'll end up here at 825. So that will be quite all right if we manage to snag him up. And we had a good training here overall last week at an average rating, training rating at 7.36. So that's pretty nice. And let's have a look here at the individual levels. And we have Paxman 
training the best, but losing in all his ratings, unfortunately, or attributes. And we have Brunt here, gaining and losing, as well as Stewart here and Mills just losing, and he's uh, yeah on his way out of the team. And we have Hayden here that will like to criticize a bit, so we'll criticize him regarding his training. And uh, we don't have a upcoming or yeah we have a upcoming under 23s match here so we'll let all players that needs much sh match sharpness to play until 60 minutes per match match until they are match fit um, so yeah we'll do that and um, one note here this episode is probably a little bit lower lower in volume and uh, that's due to me adjusting the well volume gain or a loss on the mic really a little bit just to filter out hopefully a bit more of background noise and here we have uh, Danny Wilson the manager of uh, Steven H complaining about the playing time we are get giving uh, the play long term and we'll just comment him that we are designing the players and not him So here for the upcoming match, we have quite many sub uh, su uh, suspensions. So we'll substitute the players here. So we'll put Lonton in and we'll put Sangare in for these guys. And for the defenders here, we'll actually put in Hayden and Spence Adams. Hopefully they will make a better pair than Candy and Batten or uh, Batten and Spencer Adams. And here we'll, we'll uh, take up Oliver from uh, our under 18s here for instead for Madelus, I think. And we'll see here who we want on the bench here. So we want Lewis Stern and Mills definitely. And who should we have as a fifth player? So we'll have Ball there uh, as he can play center and left. And we'll bring up. Uh, Oliver from the under 18s here. So move to senior squad. And to tactics, uh, let's put in Oliver instead of Madelus. And I think that will be our best team. Yeah, so let's roll out to the match and hope for a good result here. So we get a very early highlight here in the second minute. And uh, we'll see here what it is. Uh, just playing the ball a bit back and forth at the moment. Let's see who gets to control of it. And it's a long ball up to Oliver. And it's Oliver one on one versus the keeper, but it's over the bar. Unfortunately. And it's a corner here from Enfield Town. And it's a goal for Enfield Town, unfortunately. So it's a 0 to 1 lead here for Enfield Town. Or for Bass City versus Enfield Town, I should say. When saying the scoreline like that. And uh, yeah, not the start we had in mind here. Uh, but there is a highlight straight from the kickoff here. And uh, we'll see who it is for. Hopefully it is for us best and we made a poor pass there or ball up and uh, it's to the people of Enfield Town and uh, we break the ball in our defense and once again it's a bad ball up uh, towards the keeper and the keeper of Enfield Town have it securely in his hands and push the ball up. And we take care of the ball again. And it's up now to Oliver Allen ball. One on one versus the keeper and again. And the keeper saves here, unfortunately. Uh, but a pretty good finish there from uh, Oliver. And we have Hutton with 
the corner and a good good header as well from someone and uh, it's another corner here for us and unfortunately that wasn't a highlight so we'll start shouting here show some passion and or demand more once we get the chance again and we have another highlight here and it looks to be binning up for Enfin Town unfortunately and it's they are on the left side and they cross it in and it's another goal for Enfin Town making it 0-2 to two for Bad City here versus Enfin Town and we'll definitely move our mentality here to very, very attacking actually instead of attacking that I switched it to first and uh, yeah really try to criticize or uh, shout on our players I guess to improve the sense because this is really not good enough so we'll go with the man more this time and we have another highlight pretty straight away and we make a bad pass across the wing here and it's a long ball up and towards their strikers but they don't get the hands on it their hands on it and it's a long ball up to Brunt from the key keeper and the ball is with Rig on the left side and it's a good pass up to Brunt on the left side what will he do can he cross no it's a bad pass uh, but we get it back and the ball is a bit like pinball and it's a ball up to their striker Bricknell one-on-one -on -one versus our keeper but he shoots over the bar So we're still struggling here, definitely. So we'll uh, keep shouting the man more here. And we have several players here and not performing so far. So the half time scoreline is 0 to 2 for Bad City versus Enfin Town, and shots is 4 to 14, shots on target 2 to 9, and possession 47 to 53%. So extremely unhappy about uh, the result here so far and basically the performance of every player here the only player that have been decently is Bront and I guess our keeper have been sort of all right as well but other than that it's been total slaughter or total totally shit or what what you could say so we'll switch out Hutton here who have a terrible game and Oliver as well so both those players that are at the f uh, around 6.0 or below we switched out there and we get another highlight and it's uh, extremely poor pass by Brunt and uh, we have the ball back and forth and once again it's their striker one on one versus our keeper and he puts it wide he looked very dangerous there once again and uh, we have uh, our team doing terrible and not gaining anything even though we have us at very attacking uh, we'll try get creative we'll just try any shout we can here with only 20 minutes to go it looks like we'll lose again here unfortunately and uh, some highlight but, but not a he real highlight here in the, in the bottom since it moved by so slow uh, we do have another highlight here or actually it's uh, I guess it will be a second yellow card here for London also so he's out and uh, that seems the deal and uh, that we will not win this match I guess uh, even though it was the 87th minute so not much looked like it and we get us uh, in here here on Sean Rigg as well so this match not going our way at all uh, which is terrible and actually actually I started this episode uh, one time before just minutes ago and we won this match then 3 to 2 uh, barely and uh, had a very good game overall and uh, this time it's the total opposite so uh, yeah that's what happens sometimes with this game that uh, you get crashes and uh, stuff like that or shit like that one could say as well 
Uh, so, just waiting on the final listen, and there it's finally over. So the final score line here: zero to two for Best City versus Enfield Town. A shot six to twenty-three. Shots on target 4 to 14 and possession 47 to 53%. And let's have a look here at the league table. And I guess we'll be slipping here or losing even more ground to the leaders. So for the league table, we got Enfin Tom, you moving just past us, and Billy K as well. Uh, we don't lose any ground here actually on the title leaders, but. Uh, we are losing ground in a way, losing that match like that. And we are now at 31 points after 18 matches and 12 points behind the title leaders at the moment. So hopefully we can turn things around any second now because uh, that is what we need to do to stop this uh, trouble we have. And Rig is out only one to two days at least, so that pretty good and we get a uh, London ban for one match but that is just fine so let's see here we have uh, the upcoming match here in six days in the FA trophy third round of qualification so uh, we'll get to that match as soon as possible and see here if we can't uh, make some magic happen in between the matches or uh, something to work it all out or what what we will could say or uh, do here uh, it is pretty slow paced as we have said so there is not really that much we can do of course we can uh, try to switch around our players and switch up the tactics um, speaking of that, let's see here the player development advice and we'll uh, praise the recent form here from Sean Rigg as suggested here from our assistant manager Jim Roll and Adeloy here, the striker accepted our contract offer so let's accept him as well and we'll ask Brandt to welcome him and we'll check the report here as well so he's even a good player for most Valerie natural sides and he's definitely better than Medellus and in his turn is definitely better than Mills so and he's have a good finishing and heading and technique ratings here and also acceleration and off the ball so he's actually very good and has pretty good potential as well So actually he's made his debut here in 2015 and basically played a little bit uh, in each of his teams since then. Now we'll discuss issue here with Mills. And uh, we are definitely signing him for his position. And we'll see here what option we can choose about here. And uh, we'll just be pretty fair with him and say that he will be one of the casualties when we are improving the squad, or actually he's or already are. And uh, we will just say here that he can stay and fight for his place if he, he if he wants. And I believe he will have this in his transfer request here straight after, but that is all right. Definitely all right for us. We actually would kind of prefer, prefer to get him out of the way since that would lower our wage budget a little bit. Uh, but he don't hand in his transfer request, so we we'll guess we'll have have to do without it or with him on our team anyway and uh, so we'll 
get to the FA Trophy here, as I said, and uh, we are struggling in the league, and uh, hopefully we can keep our job. I'm actually uh, starting to think that we we'll, might not be able to do that if we keep up uh, our current streak here, uh, but we got another scouting meeting here, so let's check that out before we worry too much about anything else. I will not scout anything here and will not scout the FA Trophy and will not scout anyone else because there weren't any other interesting players here. So the pre-match tactical advice here against Phoenix Sports will add the suggested team instructions to add. And we are firm favorites according to the bookmakers here for the upcoming match and the average training rating last week was 7.27 so pretty good and let's check here on in on individual level and we have all were improving quite a bit here so We'll actually move him back to uh, the under 18s. I'm thinking, or no, he, he can stay in the in the senior squad. I will try to pick him from time to time. Actually, let's check here. He has a potential four star ability. And what do Madelus have? He have a four star rating as well, but we are actually preferring uh, Oliver, I believe, uh, in the long run. So we might switch that up as well. Uh, nothing more. And actually, actually, let's take a look here. So Madelus is earning one point two k, and what is Oliver earning? He's earning six hundred k, and he's on. Uh, uh, same same length of contract, so that doesn't really matter. And for under twenty threes, we'll all let all will allow all players that need match sharpness to play sixty minutes per match match until they are match fit. And uh, yeah, let's select the squad here for the match against Phoenix Sports. So let's go to team selection and I actually think I'll definitely add in uh, Tommy Adloy here straight away uh, just to get, get his sharp, match sharpness up uh, and this should be a pretty easy game for us so it shouldn't be a problem and we'll actually put in uh, Merdalus here as a uh, on the bench instead of Mills and we'll uh, put Oliver in here instead of uh, Kamdi. Uh, we'll see here, we'll have Paxman in instead of Sangari. And we'll have Stewart instead of Lonton. And we'll have... Uh, let's see here. Sangari instead of uh, Tom Ball as our first choice of uh, our regular, regular players on the bench. And we'll go to the match here. And hope that we can get a result in this game at least. So starting off here now it wasn't a highlight sometimes it is straight from the kickoff usually not but it did take a little bit more time than usual there to get uh, the ball away so to say and here we have a real highlight now first one in the match in the 20th minute here and we have a pass up to Hutton uh, driving the ball a bit back and a long ball up to the rig on the left side on the penalty area, but it's it's blocked and it's a long ball up on the right side for Phoenix Sports and it's again blocked by our defenders and it's a long ball up 
towards Adeloy, but it was bad addressed. And here is finally the ball through, and it's one on one versus our keeper, but they shoot it wide and high. And here is a highlight a corner from Stewart. And we don't get our hands on it, but we do get our hands on the second ball or the rebound. Our second ball is a better word, and we're uh, passing it back and forth. Paxman and Hutton with the long ball up to Adeloy. And Adeloy to Brandt, and it's a goal for Brandt and Bath City Football Club. It's 1 to 0 here for Bath City versus Phoenix Sports. So pretty nice pass there by Hutton and not the best of uh, well handling the ball there first by Adeloy but uh, a pretty good pass after that through the penalty box and it's a free kick here from Brand and it's up to Beckman and Sparta misses an open goal there I don't know what happened there but uh, not a very nice finish there by Sparta and that's the first half. So the first half scoreline is 1 to 0 for Brass City versus Phoenix Sport. And shots is 10 to 1. Shots on target 3 to 0. And possession 60 to 40 percent. And let's start the second half here. And uh, pretty over happy overall with the match so far. Should, of course, have scored a few more goals. But. Uh, that's not always the case that we get many goals here against a much worse opponent. But we do have a highlight here building up with us having the ball in the midfield and it's to Brunt and he shoots a super hard shot but it's wide and high. So approaching the 16 minute mark so we'll do a substitution or two very soon but we do have another highlight here first opening up and the ball is with phoenix sports and it's a long ball up uh, to our keeper and our keeper saved the shot uh, one on one versus phoenix sports striker and they do get the corner here after and that looks like it should be all clear here. So time for some substitutions then. So we'll switch on Sangare here, I feel, instead of uh, Paxman. I will switch in uh, Stern instead of Sparta as well, who's having a bad game. I will um, and do one more substitution here. We'll switch out uh, Hayden for Lewis in the defense. Um, let's play the game. And we have another highlight here binding up Stewart with the ball. Stern to Hutton on the right side, and then so crossing to Brunt, and he puts it wide again. So uh, not the <laughs> effectiveness or uh, yeah, effectiveness in uh, the offense that we should have had so far today. Missing really a lot of uh, open goals here. And it's another chance here for this time for Sangari and it's a goal here for Bath City. So we finally make it. 2-0 and should be pretty secure now winning this game against Phoenix Sports. And a very bad clearing there from one of the defenders in Phoenix Sports and Sangaria taking uh, care of that chance very nice. And we have another highlight here, uh, the ball with Stewart in the midfield. And putting the ball away to Rig and it's into Adeloy, but he do miss the chance as well. I'm not really sure what he did there, but uh, yeah, don't matter. But he have had a decent 
first appearance here actually for us and we have, do have another chance here I believe uh, the ball with rig it could be also uh, just a highlight until the final whistle here now it's a one-on-one -on -one versus our keeper with our keeper saves and it's a corner here for Phoenix Sports that are that is probably the last thing that will happen in this match and here it is and they do get a goal here a small small not equalizer but a reduction in the scoreline here so it's two to one for Basitin now versus Phoenix Sports and I can't really say too much about that goal uh, pretty well finished and a free kick from Stewart long long way off and over the bar and that's the final whistle so the final scoreline 2 to 1 for Bassetti versus Phoenix Sports shots 20 to 5 shots on target 9 to 3 and possession 59 to 41 percent and uh, our players had uh, a decent game overall but uh, yeah not really the best of games and not Really, what we'd like to see here against a non-league team should have been an easier win, but nonetheless we did get through, so that's pretty nice. And we did get a debut here, as said, and we received uh, close to 6k uh, for that win. And we do have uh, our... Um, agent here from Brunt that want a better offer for him or better contract and we will not sign a new contract for him here uh, not yet we will maybe do that at the end of the season but we can't carry the weight she's requesting here nonetheless anyway that will be everything or we'll walk away from this discussion first but now that will be everything so do remember smash that like button if you have liked this episode and this series it means very much to me if you would do that and also if you haven't done so already do make hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the daily content that we bring to you here on a roll slow gaming so thank you so very much for watching and see you next time bye bye